of Queensland Touch Football. So for all your official Queensland All Schools merchandise, head to the Inferno Merchandise Outlet. So that's up at the top fields down there. So Inferno, proud partner of Queensland Touch. They're the number one name in on-field touch apparel and merchandise. And with a little bit of rain, they're probably the only people down here that have an umbrella. So head up to the merchandise <laughs> tent, grab an umbrella. I'm sure Shooks has got 150 of them up there for you guys. But me, I've found more recently at Touch Footy tournaments, I use the umbrella for shade. Mm, I'm absolutely, like, man, yeah. when you're down here for six hours, eight hours, doesn't matter, shade or sunshine, as we see the who to go for this matchup here between Brisbane Adventist College and Moorefield State High School in the 15 girls division. Adventist with the tap off, and let's see what they can do. I love a good tap off. Yes, I'll continue to say that. So nice, they're getting to the seven meter line now. Fourth touch, they've got two to play. Let's see what they can pull out. Ella with the ball, looking for a quick play. Boom, gets the touch. What can they quick do pass back, and having a oh. dig in at the line. Referee's got the count as five. Let's see what they can do. Going to have another go. It's going to have to be footwork. Nice, oh, the ball oh. going to ground there. Nice, we're going to go back to halfway. Nope. Okay, we're going to go live with the game. <laughs> okay, so Moro Field, get their crack. They're going to go coast to coast. And let's see what they can do in their first rucking set of the game. They're going to go down that far sideline. Making big metres. Yeah, indeed. So only five subbing players in the Morayfield sub box, which means they may not be looking to run subsets for the entire match. Oh, actually, it's the same as the Adventist sideline. So we've got 11 on 11 in this game. Morayfield with a scoop picking from half and having a run in. Big Bailey pass. Fox has a look oh. down that far side and just can't link up with that far side winger. So a sign of things to come, mate. I think so. It was great effort, wasn't it? And, you know, just that ball sticks in your hands and that's a try. Absolutely. On a dry day. So, Brisbane Adventist College, number 14, Michaela Silvestri. 8, Morgan Peach. 15, Ella Filipovic. 29, Morgan Le Patera Murray. 2, Joyce Menier. 7, Amali Sanelli. 16, Harmony Nolda. 22, Laura Nisbet. 11, Lola Cantrell. 32, Satara Gerard. 20, Abigail Nakandual. And 25, Taisha Mang. So, Moray Field with the ball at the moment, attacking the line. Let's see what they can do. Oh, a little oh. dig in and gets the ball down, I reckon, before the touch. But let's see what the referee thinks. Try Boom, time. and he agrees. So, right there on the try line. Great work. A little bit of patience and a nice little grubber kick back to halfway. Talk us through it. Let's have a look at this one. Beautiful here. And you go on the inside, outside. I think she's going for the big pass, but no, going for the big dive and straight down. Yeah, Good effort there. Caught by the camera too. Absolutely. I tell you, that here though, you watch that replay back, you were close to getting your hair touched. Put it in a bun. <laughs> That's what I tell you. Shave it off either way. But that was a really nice try. Scored by Zoe McVeigh. Maybe a sign of things to come. She likes to work tight and direct at the line. So we always like those players. So we're going to see Brisbane Adventist with the tap off, about to punch down through the line. And let's see... They can push on down. Currently with the ball tucked under arm is Michaela. And working nicely there with Joyce Menier. So Michaela has the ball at the moment. Back to Joyce. Joyce looking for a quickie. Looking to split to the left. Gets the ball back. Trying to attack the offside players. Ooh, probably got held a little bit more herself. And the far link actually pulled in behind the line. So she could have had a short side option available as well. Just going to push it out to link on far side. Fifth touch called by referee. Looking for a little wee rooster play. And hitting back to the short side, but well touched. So Moray Field State High School team, number nine, Eva Steers, two, Zoe McVeigh, one, Chloe McCreary, five, Bailey Fox, three, Storm Manuel, four, Hayley Kavanagh, 28, Ali Cooper, 10, Akila Porter, eight, Matilda Debnam, and 13, Leisha Alefail. As we see, oh, ball just going down there. Yeah. They had a good opportunity there, fresh set. Absolutely. To make a crack. So, Moray Field got lucky. Let's see if they can control this time. Bit of ball control and punch off. Oh, here we go. It's going to be a lot of work in this roll ball. Ref's going to say, pick it up and put it down between the legs. It is a little bit wet. Let's get that stuff right. Oh, little wee step off the mark. And they go back to the dot. And you can see they're all trying to avoid that first defender. They are. So I don't avoid them with my body. I avoid them with the pass. Check it back like that. Yeah, find somebody else that's open and we pass for advantage is the key. Oh, oh we had a little look up too. Spill the lollies. The wheels started to turn. Thought, uh-huh, here's a half space. Yes. Yeah, Ball saw, just going to ground there though. Saw the space in front of her.
So I think Brisbane Adventures tend to be a better rucking team. They're going to have no trouble going from end to end. Let's just see how they get their subs on. They went completely sideways and made half a metre on the first. That's a better look. That's what I want to see. Nice. So, six on. We're just going to punch directly down the field. That's really nice. She knows the way forward. And take it back to the touch. Ooh, no, referee's happy there, though. So, ball currently with... Golly, so Morgan had it on the roll ball. Morgan's got it again, passes it out. Oh, oh, and ball just going to ground. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that pass, was she? Nah, they're in a flat line, so the angle on the camera is a little bit different, and we can see that there's no depth in their, in their line. Mm. So no one running on, really, really close to the attackers, uh, to the defensive line, sorry. So Moray Field coming over the 10-metre line, about to advance into halfway, and just struggling to make metres at the moment. Having a look around. That's four. You hear nice and loud from the referee. So we need a strike dump. Bang. Scooper's got to go. That is the fifth touch. Let's see what she can pull out of her bag. You just got to read and run now. Yeah, got to make a play. Got to make a play. run. And that's the one. Nah. Okay. Does tell me that the link's going to come in on that touch, though. You saw the link come in and make the middle. Yeah. So there could have been a little three on two set up out of nothing. So as the game starts to eventuate, the other kind of things we look for um, as coaches so we can let our players know. As we see the ball oh. going to ground, they're on halfway. So more I feel, getting the ball in great field position. As we see a little sub here on the near side. So try scorer, McVeigh happy just to cruise up the center of the field and take the touch. So ball at the moment, just pushing down the field. And nice, just tucked in. Chloe, oh, finds a bit of space yeah. and gets caught on the seven. Let's have a wee look and see what they can set up. So McVeigh probably wants a quickie here, and that's where I'd be going. Yep, takes the touch, splits to the short side. She's got the play. If she can got just the go numbers. the pass, there it is. Beautiful. Massive. That's awesome. Oh, no. What have we got? A forward pass from oh. half. And forward from half. Well, I'm telling you, that's where the magic is. Great play. Yep, so the more the ball gets to Zoe, and they let her run those little tight plays, um, she absolutely has the touch IQ to be able to orchestrate a few tries in this one. <laughs> Found the winger squeezing on the short side, no drama. Nice, just getting caught up a little bit. The girls are here, space in front there though. We go, and yeah. a touch dummy half court, unfortunately. So Marley just getting rounded up and had no real options when the defensive line came forward. So you can see one defender is pushed up and no one's helping her. There it is, draw pass. Oh yeah. Passes on there, wasn't it? Absolutely, mate. And I think you're going to see that heaps because the winger is happy to squeeze in. So if Aleph Fayol can... And again. There it is. There yep. we go. Oh. Just couldn't rake that one in. Nah. And it's the same play. So they've had a little chat about it. The girl's just talking about it again there. Referee calling them up. There it is. Nice. Play the ball there. And let's see if Brisbane can get to that direct rucking. Yep, happy to take the touch. Oh, yeah, referee will ask them to square it up a bit after. Yeah, nice straight ruck down the middle there by Ella. Referee has a stay out. And nice, yeah, Morgan loves trucking the ball up the middle at the centre of the field. She's probably someone to get in behind for a strike dump, just needs to know when to play the ball. So we're out to that short side there. Morgan, ball backward, ball going to ground. Great defensive lift. Yeah, absolutely. Put some good pressure on there in the centre field. Nice, let's see if Moray Field can get into this rucking. And see, whenever they go expansive in their rucking, they look quite good, they make easy metres. Mm. Stick away from the two middles. Nice, great touch taken there down the near side. Bit of footwork to get around and just take that hit. Great plant, she's yeah. got three in the touch. Quick, catch that. Oi! Oi! The <laughs> Accidentally went forward, yeah. Almost a trick play there by Hayley Kavanagh. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to catch it, and it bounces off my back, and then you know. Unfortunately, ball going to ground there. So another turnover. Just near halfway there against Moray Field. Boom. So Brisbane, second touch there. Got to be careful with that little plant there. They head sideways as they look to go to the box. Oh. Yeah, touch first. That's right. Dead ball after the touch is made. <laughs> nice. And there you go. Ella loves punching forward. She wants to get down to that try line. Oh, sorry, that's not Ella. I've been calling that 25. 
Betsy Mang, sorry, playing out of 25. I thought that was 15. So there we go, nice. More Field turn and burn straight yeah, down the middle. Great luck to get them on the back foot. They get another one of those. Kevin I can get the ball down. Well done. There we go. Big This will be three here. on halfway. Get it down. And another. Beautiful. Yes. That's a good rucking set. Now they're that on the front there. foot. Release. Yes. Great chasing out. Nice. Here we go. Beautiful first punch. But nice defensive lift. So let's go. As we see the Brisbane subs entering the field of play now. So this nice battle of the 10 metre lines, we call it, mate. So this orange zone between the two 10s is the real battle. Yeah, it it's is. what team can now break out of that into the green zone where we are now. So we're down this end here. They'll be looking to ball play now. Laura Nisbet taking the touch. Oh, and just getting caught there on the last. So great turnover. I like this energy on the turn. Bang. Porter getting caught here on this near side. Get it down and keep the momentum. Play the ball. Well done. Great plant there by Haley. Oh. As we see the ball go to ground. Opportunity here. Yeah. Yep, the momentum's just shifted a little bit with 10 minutes gone in the game. A great work here out of the far side wing. I can see that far side winger, Abigail. She knows what's up. Yeah, she She's wants She's calling it. for it. She wants a real shot here at the Ooh. line. Touch on the way through. Yeah, for sure. So nice. I'd like to see a little bit more depth from the Brisbane girls there. Probably within two metres is the advantage line. You see the link with the hands on the hit, just that, that's the one. I want a bit of depth so you can run onto the ball, run an outline. Nice little quickie. Oh! Boom! And snuck the space was actually right in front of the toucher. Yeah. Yeah, she just retreated behind the line. Okay, here we go. Another little wee quick play. Bang. Oh, having a little look. Trying to run around. Well, Winger gets in behind. Find some extra meters. Did create an overlap. Ooh. Oh, Winger was in front of the play, unfortunately. So, yeah, just a little run around from this wing here, trying to push into the center of play there by Satara. Oh, nice defensive lift. Yeah, great. Cut effort. the field off well there, Joyce Minnett. Oh, yeah, Zoe. Sold the dummy. So when Zoe gets that ball into her hands, pumps the line, gets in behind. If she dumps the ball on that back defender, they'll be off. Same here. Bang. We get that oh. ball down. Once they go through the line there, boom. Gives a nice scoop opportunity coming back this way. For sure. Know, trying to find the extra pass. Nice running. Take the touch here. Ball accidentally went to ground. Let's see what Moray Field can do now. Just park up down here. We know it needs to happen around Zoe. Oh, but the runners. So we needed that link on the outside to chop inside to bring the winger in and then that pass over the top. Yes, I think so. But all good. Great defensive pressure there by Moray Field. And they're going to need it. It's crazy the scores are only still 1-0. I know. There's been a bit of action. Been lots of opportunities. As we see the ball go to ground there on halfway. Quick turnover. Punch away. Get down the other end. So one there, let's see what they can do. But these defensive lifts by Brisbane are going to help them. Nice, and just taking yeah. that touch again for three. So three touches in 10 metres. Exactly. Got to be making those metres. There we go. And check, check. Oi. Nice. Back to the middle for Zoe. Get it down. If she just drives the ball in, Zoe can go. Check. There it is. And look to scoop from half. Oh, referee just has a touch. And ball down. I thought they had a touch up the sleeve, but that's all right. Yeah. Yeah, they did have a touch up the sleeve. <laughs> they got the count wrong. Let's see what they can make of it here on the last. Let's see what they can do. Looking for the wrap. Looking for the footwork. Gets in behind. And ball goes to ground. That's right. Nice. So Brisbane Aventus need, needing to go coast to coast on this one. End yeah. to end. It'll be a big effort to get up the other end. Both teams here have been pretty good in their defence, haven't they? Yeah, they have through this midfield channel. But what I like is just Brisbane just go direct. One out hits, so their ball control's good. And there you go. Nice and easy getting to halfway under no threat. Utilising their winger, Michaela. In there, directing traffic at the moment. Ball with Mang there. And referee has five, so let's see what they can do. Morgs has it, but we want her running around on that fifth one. Not driving straight. Reliable as ever, though. Stealing those metres. Turnover. So Moro Field needing to go end to end. Boom, and a nice first play there. So, dummy half has the ball. Nice little pick. 
Porter here on this wing. And I'm just going to knock it into halfway. This will be touch four. They'll have one left to step. And they need a scooper. So here we go. Oh, ball just going to ground right on halfway. It's a real slog fest so far. Yeah, absolutely. I'm sure Moray Field coach seeing along, having a chat to her players about this little bit of ball control. Because when they get down the other end, the, the, the tries are there. The exactly, yeah. There. And same thing with the Brisbane Adventist College, coach Declan Stacey. And that far side chatting to his players about field position. Nice, I love the way the two Moray Field defenders come up. They go up one on your own, you can get caught out. They went up together in a two. And ball goes to the ground. Nice, quick turnover, got them on the back foot. Time to knock away. Boom, two in the touch. Yeah, nice, that there was a great go. option. Big meters, there we Check. go. And the yeah, pass, good ball. yeah. Here we go. Porter, looking to run. Touch on the ball, that's all good. Nice, and we're just going to see them coming back to the centre. Referee has. Talking to the ref about their, talking to them about their subs. There's something about there being a subbing penalty, but there was an offside play, couldn't really hear the language. But one thing I do like about Darren, he's a nice, clear communicator as far as refereeing goes. There's the pass, oh, he's around the, the outside. speed, and try. There we go. So nice, and the last one there, Eva Steers going around the outside. And that was just something out of nothing on the fifth play. That's what we always say to teams, why do you try and kill it on the fifth touch when you can just score tries? We've been saying it all game, it's a matter of controlling the ball, making sure you hold on to it for your full set, and first time that they've done that in a little while, they've gone over the try line. Nice, Bailey Fox ball in two hands, just took off from half, she looked like she was drifting, and then just squared up as the player came around the back, so nice wee play. So more I feel, currently leading the game, two tries to nothing over Brisbane Adventist College in this 15 girls matchup in the 10.30 time slot, so here we go, Emang yeah, taking the hit in, beautiful, just a bit of ball control by Mini getting down the field. Time to start loading the players, getting the right people out there. Oh, well, there you go, going to see a turnover for the ball going down. Morayfield, get straight back on the ball. There we go, nice first touch. Punch, drop, pop. That's what it has to be. We punch, drop, pop. Let's see if they can keep getting that momentum right. Punch, yep, drop and pop straight away. Drop, pop. And there you go. Now they need to center it back to the middle for a strike dump. See if they can get off the back of Kevin Arsh. He runs a nice one. Check it off, check it off, give it to Kevin Ashi. drives, you pick and go. Shot by Owls, pick and run. There it is. And the pass, ooh, yeah. goes down. So yeah, Bailey coming out of half is a really good option, and if we can get players like Kevin R looking to drive the ball straight as the tournament starts to wind on, and she just gets a little bit more time on the ball. Here you go, same thing again. Bailey will play it, I'll say get it back, feed it off. We need someone to go really wide into a link channel, and she just needs a dumper. Space out wide, where's the pass? Yep. Oh, Ooh. really close to the line. Feed though, they've got the numbers. Good try. And Great. another one, yeah, brilliant. Awesome, happens off the back of Fox. We see the same thing twice in a row. So normally it's around, like I said in the last game, that 15 minute mark with 10 minutes to go, you see fatigue set in. Beautiful, Bailey gets it, even though it's three meters out from the line. She sees it, attacks the short side. Winger's in tight, has to yeah. fight. And I think the winger could have gone a little bit earlier, but hey, she did a great job to be over there. Absolutely. Win on losing that one. You go out wide. She yeah. goes in for the try. You stay in, pass out for the try as well. So, tough one there, good effort. So, we know in a 20 minute game of touch, that five minute sort of just before half time, so after 15 minutes is the fatigue zone. Um, same thing in a 25 minute game of touch. These, you know, 25 minutes one way doesn't stop 15 minutes being the fatigue zone. We'll see Morayfield pick up two tries in the last, since that 15 minute mark hit. Alrighty, so let's go. They really have to be the next ones to score here. Brisbane Aventus, if they want to have any chance of warming the match up. They've definitely got it in them. They've looked dangerous every time they've got down at this end of the field. Oh, turned over though. Yeah, Kayla just getting caught out of dummy half. So Morayfield just need to leave the ball down the other end. Punch away, let's see what they can come up with. Boom, first touch energy, there it is. So this is how Brisbane started the game with really good ruck. Oh, oh he's through the gap. Through. Sliced on through. Hot knife through butter. B A A beautiful. And there you go. Sets two up and then scores one of her own. Wow, it's just been a mad sort of four and a half minutes here for this Moray Field team. 
Nice control. Yeah, runs onto the ball. Ball comes out and has an outside shoulder. Ball in two hands. And then sees space. Bang. Tucks and goes. You know, this is probably a clip I need to mark here. We talk about ball in two hands in front of the line. Tuck it once you're through the line and sprint as fast as you can. That's money there. Shot Bailey Fox. I have a new touch footy training clip. There we go. Brisbane Adventist College with the tap off. Lovely. Off they go. So Morofield currently winning this 15 girls matchup. Four tries to nothing. Boom. Into the line easily though, as you can see. Morgan with the ball. Bang. And they dig out and just a little wee pass there out to the winger. So there's these classic touch footy skills up against playing a bit of footy. You know? Nice. Let's see Mene. Gets it down. Ball comes back. There we oh, go. And, but look at the space outside. Absolutely. You know, we've got a little check check. Plenty. Choppers, bull runners. And here we go. We're going to see it again. They just got all the time in the world here around that line. Really nice to see at the moment. Amali trying to work in the middle with many players standing on the line, though. I think they dropped a bit early, but advantage goes back to the yeah, defenders on that one. Tough yeah. work. But nice, Morayfield, happy to defend their line. Currently winning by four tries to nothing. Four minutes left in this 15 girls matchup. And all they need to do is go end to end. You like to see it though. First uh, set in a while that Brisbane have had a good crack at yeah. Morayfield. A few more of those and you never know. It could turn around real quick. They're just stuck playing touch footy moves, mate. So they mm. keep running quickies against great defense. We want to see footy. Find some space, advance the ball, pass for advantage. Yeah. Let's get around them. Nice, there we go, Mini again. Ball just pushing out to that far side wing. Yeah, getting well rounded up, unfortunately. Sort of try to sneak around. Marley there again, ball just going to ground on that far side wing. So she sort of tried to impose herself a little bit more in the last few minutes, Marley has. Looks like she has a lot of time with the ball too. Great touch there by Imang. Go up, you can hear them calling. So the defense want to be active. Great touch again in the midfield. Ball in two hands. We just found a man on scenario though on that wing side, unfortunately. Alrighty, girls just cruising. I'm going to look to pick and run. Oh, bang, just finds an extra. Yeah, happy to turn the ball over on this near side wing. So two and a half minutes left in this 15 girls matchup. Brisbane Adventist will just punch away again with those yards. See, I want an extra pass there, only one person up. Yeah. Want an extra pass there with only one person up. I agree. Plenty more metres to be made there. Yeah, extra pass, and bang. Yeah, so, another one. So you see you're trying to step into that space, whereas mm. we can just stay square and pass the ball to the player into that space. Probably four touches in a row where they could have picked up extra metres with just an extra pass. Boom, winger in front of the ball, though. I tell you, if I was Brady, she takes a great lead as a wide receiver. <laughs> just needs to be a little bit deeper, though, for that timing. Ball just goes over the top there by Morgan. But yeah, for six touches there. So jumps on the ball, Moray Field. Straight back on it. Definitely enough time left in the game for each team to score or either team to score. See a little pop and just coming down the sub box side. Bit of ball control. Nice work, Kavanaugh with the ball. Happy to take the touch there. Let's see what they can pull out. Oh, a little wee swerve, the hand went up, claim touch, referee has a yes, no call. There we go, unfortunately. Nice, so let's see what they can pull off, just moving through the field. Ali Farrell with the ball, looking to work on the inside with McCreary. Nice ball control, they're at the seven metre line now. Plenty of space out wide. Heaps, Ali Farrell drops it back in. Nice touch there though, McCreary with the plant. And now you have a Kavanaugh, oh, trying to get around, creates a bit of space for her. And even just by different players moving into different channels. Oh, Kev, oh, misses, oh, Ooh. another little wee one. Oh, yeah. oh, wow. Oh, left foot, no, left foot, no, slide dive, you're so close, Hales. So close. But it's all chewing up the clock as well. McCreary has a little chat here. I think she may want to... A little wrap. Six touches there by the referee. Just lost the count. So 40 seconds for the Brisbane girls. 
And that's a nice punch away there by Morgs. Picks up 50 Good meters. Run. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Makes it all the way to inside the 10 off that first punch. Two there approaching halfway. Yeah, nice. Oh, a little wee head fake. Beautiful bit of energy here by Mini out of the box. Last play, Abigail with the pass. Back to her. Joyce just wants to go here from the pick. Boom. Looking to go. And ball Ooh. goes to ground. Pass to no one. That may be the last play of the game. Boom. There it goes. As we hear the final who to go in this matchup.